there is a city here. A city of angels. Welcome to Los Angeles. The home of crime, wealth, power, and paradise. But lurking unseen beneath its very feet lies a threat even more dangerous than the city itself. There was a place where people could live a quiet life, free from danger and disaster. Until one day... In 1994, a magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck Northridge, killing almost 60 people and injuring thousands more. Bridges collapsed, buildings crumbled, and a community was destroyed. The quake wrought more than $44 billion in damage and opened the eyes of geologists to the threat of earthquakes elsewhere. Unbeknownst to most, there are several large fault lines directly under Los Angeles. The Santa Monica Fault, the Hollywood Fault, the Newport Inglewood Fault Zone, and the recently discovered Puente Hills Blind Thrust Fault System. The fault system extends nearly 50 miles and is anywhere from 2 to 11 miles deep. Running from Orange County to Beverly Hills, this fault system could easily be the most dangerous natural threat ever to face Los Angeles. Yeah, that, that's one of these blind thrusts, and, and, and uh, you know, it's uh, you know, very capable. The problem with these things is that most of them are fairly short, so you think, well, they can't have a terribly big earthquake, but they're so close. That was from the Northridge, you know, that was not a really big earthquake, but it was right under the San Fernando Valley. And so when you're right on top of a fault like that, you get a lot of high frequency shaking. It's very hard on, you know, masonry structures and this kind of thing. A blind thrust fault, unlike most other ruptures in the earth, is a fault that never breaks the surface, but still has the potential for catastrophic damage. The reason we know they're there is because we see the topography. Like the hill, Dodger Stadium, the Whittier Hills, okay, any place you see a hill in the basin, you can assume that it's a thrust fault underneath it's pushing up the, pushing up the hill. And you might find yourself wondering, why are there so many blind thrust faults in Los Angeles? Because Los Angeles is being crushed. crushed. Right now. That's right, you are being crushed. There's a bend in the San Andreas Fault that captures the Los Angeles Basin in its grasp. This bend is squashing the city from a north-south direction at an apocalyptic 5 millimeters per year. What's different from Los Angeles Basin, there's so many of them. That's because of this geometry of the San Andreas being out of alignment here. You got, it's almost like all of Basin has to come up, hit the San Andreas, and go around the corner, so it all gets smashed up. So there's just so many faults. It's hard to, you know, pick a place where you don't have one of these thrust faults nearby. Though many people worry about the growing threat of the next big one, the scientific community has come to a new resolution. We are not overdue. It turns out that you know it's a big one every on average every 134 years or so off of the San Andreas. And the last was 1857, so in that sense we're overdue, but they dated those earthquakes by using paleo seismology. Dug a trench across the fault and, and when they found out that although the average is 138 years, they come as often as 40 years or as infrequently as every you know, 350 years or so. So to say we're overdue is kind of not clear. We could be one of the longer intervals now, and that we're not really overdue. However, if science is wrong, and we are overdue, the damage would be catastrophic. Uh, what we get is get a lot of low frequency 
shaking because high frequencies got to die out faster. These low frequency waves have the most damaging effect on skyscrapers and high rise buildings, causing them to sway side to side like wheat in a gusty field. And they were here during late 1857 in the basin. They described it as, as people got sort of seasick. It's a big earthquake, so it goes on for a long time, you know, for minutes. It's a lot of this rolling motion. We got to make these buildings safer. However, the lawmakers of California have passed stern laws about earthquake safe architecture. LA is one of the safest cities in the world to be in, should an earth shattering earthquake devastate the city. Okay, so it was so small structures are probably being not so bad, you know, chimneys and things, but what people worry about is the big buildings downtown, because if it's, you got this rolling motion, they have very low frequencies, and if they begin swaying, it'll be a test of the uh, design. They've designed this stand, it'll be a good test of that. I suspect it'll be okay. But who really knows what lurks beneath these city streets? There are many faults still yet to be uncovered, and many known faults that we still don't know anything about. To face this threat to our future, we must be united, informed, and prepared. And that's just what this documentary has made us, along with filling all the criteria of the rubric, probably earning this group an A+, at least. <laughs>